Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Penology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the top two stocks that all of you should be keeping in your watches for tomorrow. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped the stocks of interest in the comment section of our last video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, before we begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, all right? So let's get started right off the bat. We have the SPY right now. And in my last video, it was on Sunday night. It was right over here, right before Monday started. I told y'all to watch the SPY for a move all the way up towards 4580, all right? It got there relatively quickly. It didn't take that long to get there. It got there on Tuesday. And then after that, it started getting just choppy and just staying at that level for quite some time. Um, I'm not bearish on the market. I think I think that we're gonna continue this trend where we continue to go up here and then we may fall a little bit, all right? But we're just gonna keep going in that direction, all right? There won't be any shift in the trend. And as I said before, do not fight this trend. Let me change this thing to the four hour, yeah. It's just gonna be that way throughout the entire time, just zigzaggy. All right, there may be a little bit of overextension before we come back down, but again, the trend would always be the same. Now, for the first stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow, that stock is CHPT, charge point. And the reason why I wanna share charge point with all of you is because of this, for one very simple reason. All right, if you change the time frame to the one hour and you zoom in right over here, you can clearly see that there is this bullish rectangle right there, right over here, that broke out today, right at 2363, which is when obviously we started buying calls. Um, the price target for this one, again, this is supposed to be an easy, simple trade. It's not supposed to be too complicated and it's also not supposed to drop below 2360. It's not supposed to do that. If it stays as clean as it looks, we should see this thing going up tomorrow all the way up to 2480. All right. And then followed up by a continuation to around 27 on Monday or either Tuesday, somewhere over here in this circle, all right? I'm not bearish on charge points whatsoever. This setup is clean and it is good enough for me to share it with all of you in this video. Looking at it, looking at it from like a bigger perspective, it's still trying to recover. And there is this giant bullish pennant. I'm sure y'all can see it, it's right there. The bullish pennant is right there, all right? It's almost, almost there. Maybe we might see this thing just spike tomorrow. Maybe, it's not guaranteed. There is no, it's not guaranteed that it's going to just spike up tomorrow all the way up to $28. That would be nice though. Like that would be really nice, but it may take a sweet time to get there. So just keep that in mind as well. So that's the first stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list. The next stock, the next stock is, I honestly think the next stock is going to go parabolic tomorrow. I really do. And that stock is something that I've been watching for a long time. It's NVIDIA. It's NVIDIA. Um, it broke through and made new highs two days ago. And it's been consolidating right over here. Um, it kind of formed this, um, I want to say gravestone doji, but it's not really it because of the, the length of it, the position of it. Again. Um, it's, it's just not it. And the next candle is also, it was a gap up right there. And there is some short sellers right here. I'm sure they're not happy about seeing this, All right? And one more thing, if you get in to the chart, if you just move into the one hour, actually no, not the one hour. We're gonna go to the 15 minute. Yeah, you can clearly see that there is this flag right on the chart that broke out. Like the flag is right here right over here okay and it broke out at like right at the close 
right here. So we added before and then right in here, this is when we add it again, right there. All right, so definitely watch the video for a move all the way up to 260 tomorrow. It's looking quite great after hours and it didn't get hit by um, QQQ tanking like at the close, it didn't get hit at all, which was surprising to me. So this is a good time. Definitely watch the video for a move tomorrow. I think it's going to happen tomorrow. It looks like it wants to happen tomorrow. All the way up in this zone, right over here, right? So that's the top two stocks that all of you should be keeping in your watch list. Now, um, let's talk about let's talk about some other stocks. Some of you guys stocks of interest as well. And the first one that we're gonna discuss, that one is Amazon. We have to talk about what happened with Amazon. And let me reiterate this thing one more time. Holding through earnings is 150% gambling. And I don't do it and I don't recommend anybody to do it. And if you are gonna do it, I always say going small because the the uh, if if the reaction is completely opposite to what you wish it was, you 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 would get annihilated. And I can tell you right now, everybody who bought YOLO calls right here, hoping for a move all the way up to like thirty six hundred, um, th those contracts are going to like ten cents each. It's it's not good. And I'm and those contracts were really expensive too. People who bought puts on there may get paid probably like positive one hundred, positive one fifty. So congrats to anybody who bought puts on it. Again, this is a 50-50 coin toss. I'm not involved in it. Again, I told you, I tell you guys, I would rarely, rarely, almost never get involved in these plays. I do not like holding things through earnings. The same thing happened to Apple as well. Um, Apple happened like an hour after, but usually Amazon and Apple kind of follow each other, especially when their earnings is on like the same day. So this is not surprising to me at all. Now, is this thing going to drop for like another month like we've seen in the previous earnings? And again, I've shown this example before when I was talking about Snapchat in my previous video. I told y'all like, this is what happens in the previous earnings, it gap down heavily and then roll down for like three more weeks. This time, I don't think we're gonna see the same effect. I actually want y'all to like keep this in your watch list. Tomorrow is gonna be interesting. I think it will be very, very interesting for both stocks, especially for Amazon. Even though they missed, I believe they missed sales and then there was something about slow growth and high cost in the new section. But either way, the way the overall market is, the way the trend is going, and I'm not bearish on the on the spy at all. I think again, I think that we're going to go over here, right? We may dip just a little bit towards like 32, 85, and then we're gonna sprint all the way back up towards 34, 15 on that same exact day. All right. So this is definitely something that you want to keep in mind. Short sellers will want to cover ASAP before they lose those gains, especially those who bought YOLO puts because these puts, they move really, really quickly. If you don't take your money off the table real fast, you're gonna lose it all. So anticipate that. Anticipate some really rapid profit taking. And for this move right here, so just be ready. YOLO traders, be ready. Um, there could be a lot of money made on those contracts, especially when they get really cheap. It's, it's Friday. So again, if this plays out really well, we can see those contracts move up by about like, by about a hundred X in like a matter of hours. So just keep your eyes on that. I think it's going to happen. I will be watching this one like a hawk tomorrow, right? So um, that should be one of the, I guess, top three stocks that y'all should be watching. Um, the next one, next one is actually an update. An update on the stock that I uh, mentioned on the last video. That one was BRKB. Um, in regards to this one, the entry was good. All right, I showed you guys the flag. I explained this to y'all, right, about what could happen. I gave y'all the scenarios to watch this thing for it move all the way up to 293 before falling to retest that level right there. It didn't quite get up to 293, it got up to 292, and then it immediately fell. 
I didn't like the fact that it fell right there. All right, I was actually kind of mad. And I was waiting for this thing to actually show some signs of like life. And then once I saw this thing right there, I got out of my contracts because they expired on 11.5. And I, at that exact level right here at 290, I kind of broke, I just broke even. And then I rolled over the contracts for 11.12. And then the next thing that I saw next pissed me off even more. I saw this thing and as a short seller, somebody who loves shorting stocks, Whenever I see this thing right there, right there, I do not ignore it. This is something that I usually like go short and buy puts on right here. And this is exactly where I immediately got rid of those like those contracts that expired on 11, 12, because it's just not, it's not what I wanted to see. It's not the scenario I wanted. And again, it looked like it was a decent decision. Yeah, it is still at the same price, but again, there was a lot of plays that happened within the last few days. So there was no point for me to just keep holding and hoping with this one, so I just let it go. And where is it gonna go next? Again, it could always go back up here, all right? It could just consolidate here and then move up eventually. How long is it gonna stay here? I don't know. And since I don't know, i rather focus on other stuff that I do know. So yeah, it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Again, you can be patient with it. Is it gonna rise later to 300? Yes. But when? That's my question. When? So that's that's why I had to let this one go. Um, now uh, let's do an update on Shiba. It's been a while since we have talked about Shiba, and let's let me pull that up real quick. Uh, this is Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu. Where is the Binance? Shiba. Nope. Okay. Let me see. Nope. Let me change this thing to uh, to that one. Let's see. Okay. So we got a chart right now. This is good. Let me go on the daily chart. It had a massive run. So congrats to anybody who were able to make some money on that one. In my last video that I made about Shiba, I explained exactly why this thing was not unpredictable or why this thing was very predictable. I will pin it up here somewhere in the video and y'all that way y'all can go back and check it out but um yeah there was this bullish pennant right here and it made a huge move all the way up to the top now in regards to this is definitely the top we're not gonna see a bounce at these levels no this this is where people should have at least taken their initial investment off the table all right um let me change this thing to the five minutes and let me explain why this thing rolled over. Now, this is the five minute chart of it, okay? And there was a pattern right here that I was watching on that day. And as it was spiking, and I said it was spiking, the, the volume was increasing. It was looking quite good. And then at this point, at exactly 220, it was looking real parabolic, all right? And that was at that point where I was like, all right, this, this is getting a little too much. Let me change this thing to the Discord. Yeah, so this was yesterday at like 2.25 p.m. And I pretty much said, SHIB is getting a little too parabolic. It's gonna cool off real soon. It would be wise to take your initial investment from SHIB and to just to make this hold free, right? So some people pretty much either took all of the money out, took a portion of their money out, or just took their initial investment of their money out. But either way, like there was some good money to be made on here. Let me go back to the ship chart right over here. So 225 central time was right over, let me see, Chicago. Okay, it was right over here, right at the end of that candle and at, at the beginning of this candle. And then the next thing is, this is something that kind of, menu, it's, it tricks new traders. Like, this is what I mean. You see on here, right? You think that it's gonna go a little bit higher. Sometimes it does that, it's a little bit annoying. Let me change that to the, it does that a lot. It times out quite a bit. Shib. All right, and we're gonna go with, there you go. Okay, so this is what I mean right here. 
New traders can tend to get trapped when they see something that looks like this. It looks like a bullish pennant on the chart. It does, right? It looks really tempting. And you believe that it might make a newer high. But you have to like, it, it takes some time to also recognize the real patterns from the fake ones. And you also have to take into consideration the bigger picture. Um, and like this, this right here, I can picture a lot of beginner traders trying to buy this. They see this and they think it's a good breakout, but it's really not. Like even the bottom here, it's just not, it's, it's not very convincing. There is not a, there, there's not new money pumping in right there, right? There, there just isn't. So new buyers come in here. They think it's gonna go up to like, and take out another zero, but next thing you know is this right there, this immediate dump. And this is where the panic happens and it just keeps rolling over and over and over. And I've seen this time and time again in the crypto market. And this is not something that's uncommon. It happens all the time. And right now on the chart, there is a bear wrist triangle on the chart right over here. All right. As soon as this floor break, I can tell you right now that we're going to tank all the way down to like it's gonna drop all the way to 0 0.40, 48. Yeah, somewhere around here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a filthy drop. It's, it's gonna, it has to go down just a little bit more. So for those of y'all who want to buy some sheep, who are anxious, who you really want some to, to put some some skin in the game, um, I would say just chill out because this thing is it's gonna go down some more. It's not done just yet. All right. So just have your orders ready at like the five mark or the 47 or 46 mark, just somewhere right there is where you should be um, thinking about either going back in, especially for those of you out in a Discord who took your money off when I told you how to do so. That would be a great point to like get back in and buy the dip and then we will sell it at the new high. So that's my very honest opinion on SHIB. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. It helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on future uploads. If you would like to be part of our private Discord community, you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Patternology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I'll have some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three, it only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks really up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Enjoy the outro.